Now, the Hollywood legend Kirk Douglas is celebrating his 100th birthday this weekend. The star of Spartacus has fought gladiators, cowboys and boxers during his long career and he's seen as a hero to many. But heroes can come in many guises. Michelle Thompson moved fellow MPs to tears this week when she marked the UN's International Day for the Elimination of Violence Against Women by revealing that she had been raped as a girl. When I was 14, I was raped. As is common, it was by somebody who was known to me. He had offered to walk me home from a youth event, and in those days, everybody walked everywhere. It was quite common to do that. I didn't tell my mother, I didn't tell my father, I didn't tell my friends, and I didn't tell the police. Incredibly brave speech there. So, what makes a hero? Well, I'm joined by the adventurer and explorer Pearl Wimmer, and also by the political activist Kate Smirthwaite. Hello to both of you. Mr Wimmer, to you first. So, in your view, what makes a hero? For me, a, a hero is somebody who is universally ad admired, uh, first of all. Secondly, who faced a, a big challenge of sorts. Uh, and thirdly, who executed that challenge with, to, with the, an outstanding achievement. So obviously in the world of adventure and explorers, uh, th these would be the likes of Sir Edmund Hillary who, and, and, uh, Norgan, and Chense Norgan who, who climbed Mount Everest. It would be uh, my good friend Boz Aldrin who became part of the Apollo 11 mission together with Neil Armstrong and, and went up to the moon and, and only just a few weeks ago actually he became, had another big achievement by being the oldest person ever to visit the uh, South Pole. So people like that in my view are, are, are true uh, explorers, heroes in, in, in my book of adventure. But I realise that there is a broader definition that goes uh, beyond that. Okay, Kate Smirthway, over to you now. Would you agree with that definition of what a hero is all about? Well, yeah, I think that, that being a hero is about bravery, isn't it? So it's about doing something um, that's right or good, um, regardless of the consequences, e you know, e even, if, even if there may be a backlash for you. And I think, um, you know, I, th I think under those definitions, obviously, Michelle Thompson absolutely fits that definition. You know, it's, it's absolutely the right thing to do to be open and honest about these things. But we all know um, that the consequences of these things, sometimes there are physical consequences, but sometimes there are psychological consequences. It's difficult to speak out. There can be a backlash there can be a lot of uh, you know a, a negative reaction it can be uncomfortable it can be all of those things and I think it's incredibly brave of her to do it I think that what we need to do as a society actually is be kind of ready to look back and revise our definitions you know once upon a time being a hero always seemed to be about fighting and I think these days sometimes the brave heroic thing to do is to not fight is to say actually let's find a peaceful solution to this and that can be the brave and the heroic thing to do and I think also um, you know, being a hero often is about going against the grain and, 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 and being prepared to put your own sort of neck on the line. And I think when we look back, sometimes the reaction hasn't been great. I'm thinking of, you know, the first people who tried to, uh, you know, call the whistle, blow the whistle or, or call out uh, Jimmy Savile. You know, when that thing started and the first few people who said anything were told, you know, don't, don't waste our time. We're not interested in hearing your story. We don't believe you. Um, and of course, history has now demonstrated that actually they were trying to do something incredibly brave and, and incredibly selfless that would actually have, have benefited a lot of other people. And I think we should have that, that chance to look back and go, actually, you know what, let's celebrate some of those people at this stage. So if being a hero is all about being brave, then Pearl Wimmer, you've done some things that have obviously required a bit of bravery in your time, some of those adventures. Would you ever consider yourself as being a hero? Um... And not really, to be honest. Uh, yes, I, I did conduct the first uh, skydive, tandem skydive above Mount Everest, uh, which no doubt uh, took a lot of bravery and a lot of courage and was very difficult. And yes, you do put your life at risk, uh, no doubt. Uh, I'm not sure I would qualify as about the being universally admired for it or something like that. I think uh, other heroes such as uh, the polar explorers uh, like, like Ronald Asmussen and Shackleton and those who really sort of pushed the boundaries on Earth, or indeed the people in Trieste uh, in 19 1960, uh, Don Walsh and, uh, and Picard, who actually went down to the depth of the Mariana Trench, and, which was again replicated by James Cameron in 2012. I think those people have really, truly, in, in my world of adventure, pushed the boundaries and done something extraordinary. Um, and yes, I am going to space uh, in, in hopefully in 2018. Uh, that will be exciting, but it's not as if we haven't been there before. I do admire people who do great deeds of, of charity and, and the so-called unsung heroes of uh, every day. 
who actually do not get the attention, uh, the financial rewards or, or whatever uh, they actually deserve. Uh, so if there was some sort of way to create more prizes for people who are doing amazing charity work every single day out there in the country, I think that would, that would be great. Kate Smurthway, I'm interested in your views from a kind of feminist perspective on our concept of heroism. Often we talk about quite masculine uh, things here. The word hero itself is seen as a masculine word. Heroine, the feminine version, is something that people don't really use. Do you think that's a problem? Uh, well, yeah, I think it is. I mean, you know, I've, I've come in to your studios uh, in central London and on the way here we must have driven past about 50 statues of heroes and they were all men in military uniforms, sort of on horseback, you know, reared up uh, and, and we're very much projected that image um, that the people we should admire and look up to are people who are physically strong, um, willing to fight, willing to go into battle and this kind of stuff. And I think that, you know, we can see actually from the number of statues of women that we have around London and around the UK that actually we're not really celebrating women who've done amazing things. There's kind of a handful, and yet there are so many women, of course, throughout history who've done incredibly brave things, some of them physical, um, and a lot of them also in terms of campaigning, in terms of sticking up for their rights and the rights of, of other women. And I think also, you know, it, it's interesting that, that Pear says, oh, you know, I don't see myself as a hero. But we talk about heroes in a broader sense of having universal um, respect. But I think there's also a sense that, you know, each of us have our own individual heroes. You know, there are individual people who, who have inspired me enormously and who I look up to greatly. And I think in some ways, you know, anyone can be a hero if you can inspire, you know, younger people, people around you. Go, oh, yeah, I want to do that. You know what? I'm going to be brave and do that. And that might not make you a, a sort of hero in the sense of let's build a statue in Parliament Square, but it might make you a hero to a group of people. And I think that's a wonderful thing to be as well. I wonder, uh, Power Women, are we at risk of devaluing the world hero if anyone can be a hero? I mean, are you a hero for raising a family? Am I a hero for getting up when my alarm clock went off this morning? What, what do you think? Uh, it is true, we've got to be careful not to de devalue the concept too much. But again, coming back to what I started by saying, it, it does uh, require some sort of u universal recognition. It does require a massive challenge that one has faced and then doing an outstanding achievement uh, in getting there. That is really the, the essence of being a hero. And that can be done in many ways. It can be done on, on the battlefield as, as a soldier, it can be done as an adventurer, explorer, or it can be done by that nurse who, who is super unselfish and just doesn't get the recognition but just day in and day out, just work hard for everybody else's uh, com and the common good. I think that those are the, the, the Aung San heroes of, of, of today who really deserve the recognition. But uh, it, it is a definition that, uh, that, that really requires uh, refinement, I think, in uh, 2016. And just a quick thought from uh, both of you, just to end. I'm quite keen to know who your own personal heroes are. Kate, you want to go first? Um, oh, well, that's a great question. Um, uh, I mean, there are all sorts of amazing women over the years who I'm absolutely inspired by. Um, yeah, and I'm now, now I'm like completely on the spot trying to think of like just, just one that I want to mention. Um, I'm thinking of people like Mary Seacole. Uh, I'm thinking of women like the suffragettes, you know, from, from one side to the other. Uh, you know, Emily Wilding Davidson and, and all her sisters up and down the country and, and people around the world who absolutely have done all sorts of incredible things. But I think that if we, you know, we, you're right, we are at risk of devaluing the word if we keep applying it to absolutely everyone. But there's a simple solution to that, you know, that the people right at the very, very top of the hero tree will just just rename them superheroes. As we all know, the only qualification required for that is willingness to wear a pair of tights. So, so that, that's pretty much all women, as far as I can tell. <laughs> yeah, very good uh, definition there. Uh, per women, who's, who's your personal hero? Uh, certainly uh, Buzz Aldrin, uh, a personal good friend of mine and, and a huge, uh, huge admirer of his great uh, space exploration efforts. Uh, Richard Branson, his balloon trips uh, both over the Atlantic and, uh, and the Pacific. Huge admiration for the courage he showed when, when he did that, let alone building up a big, big business empire. Elon Musk uh, and what he's trying to do, predict in the future from here. Uh, and obviously the polar explorers as well as Hillary on, on, on Everest and uh, Livingstone throughout Africa. I mean, the list is, is really, really long and it is it's hugely humbling to read about the exploit of these people and uh, hugely inspiring. The key thing is, though, whatever you do, follow your passion, follow your goals, and don't tell people that it's not. Uh, don't don't listen to people who tell you it's it's not possible because it is. You can make it possible. Okay, some nice advice there, uh, Pearl Wimmer, Kate Smithwaite. Thanks very much for your thoughts on heroes.